Um, okay, so I'm just going to pick a, a random aerial photograph that looks like of a university campus from Google. Um, and so I just went in and, and took the, the photo, copied it, put it into Photoshop. Um, so what I did in Photoshop is I made two layers. I'm using Photoshop CS5, um, but all of this should work for CS4 as well. So here's the original layer that I pasted in, so it's just the normal photograph, 800 odd pixels. And then what I did was I distorted it, because I just didn't have a second copy. Um, I distorted it and rotated it, so it's not exactly the same image, and I, I took a, a chunk out. Um, and now if you if you overlay the two of them and I toggle it, you can see it's it's not perfect, right? And then one thing that I do is to check the, the overlays is you play with the op opacity here. Um, so if you lower that down to like 50%, you can see where a lot of the overlap is. And so you could do it manually and, and kind of drag it around and re-align it in a certain way. So doing the opacity and, and just using the rotation tool, sorry, I don't, I don't know if I said, but you just press Control T and you start rotating um, like that it gives you and then you can stretch and then always remembering with with Photoshop you can use the shift control and alt keys to to alter your your selection so if I hold alt and click this it'll shrink it in both directions versus if you let go of alt then it just shrinks it in one um, so I'm going to undo all of that and then bring it back up to 100 percent so what I'm going to do the, the proper way that I would do it is I'd select both layers, so layer one copy and layer one, and then I'd go up to image at the top, or no, edit. Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. Yeah, edit and then auto align layers. And then I just pick auto, but you can play around with, with different ones. Um, I'm not sure geometric distortion is necessary. I don't think so, because the I mean, mine's based on the same picture, but you might need geometric distortion. Um, click OK. It'll crunch for a little while, and then it's done. Um, now, if I toggle the visibility, you can see it's basically the same image now. And then, so this will this will work even if you had two different parts of the image. So if if one was of, say, this half of the image, and then the other one was this one, it had a slight overlap then if you had that overlap you can do the exact same thing with the auto align layers and it'll put them on top of each other. Um, so this is the same tool that you'd use to, to make panoramas. So if I show you just the the one that was warped which is the top one you can see it there. So Photoshop's basically rotated it for me, it's stretched it, it's still missing this chunk but it's perfectly aligned with the layer beneath it and that's how I would sort of uh, align aerial photography. I hope that answers your question.